Welcome to our second physics tutorial video brought to you by the OASIS. In this video, we will be working with electric fields and use problem 2128 out of the back of the university physics book as an example of a problem on how to approach electric fields. So in this problem, we are told that we have an electron released from rest in a uniform electric field. The electron accelerates vertically upward, traveling 4.5 meters in the first 3 microseconds after it's released. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, draw out our problem here. So the electron accelerates vertically upward in a uniform electric field. So we're going to have a uniformly charged plate creating this uniform electric field. We know it's positive because opposite charges attract, and for the electron to want to travel up, it must want to travel up to an opposite charged plate. So it's going to travel up to this positive plate because it itself is negative. And we, know, and we are told that it accelerates straight up. So we're going to go ahead and define this vertical axis as the positive y-axis and the horizontal as the x. We know from earlier in the chapter that the mass of an electron is equal to 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st kilograms. We also know that the charge of an electron is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. And finally, we also know that this electron traveled 4.5 meters, so we're going to define the distance between the electron's current position and its ending point to be 4.5 meters. And t we know is 3.5 microseconds, or 10 to the negative sixth. Okay, so let's go ahead and start working out the problem. We need to start with our equations. The first equation for the electric field we're going to look at is E equals F over Q naught. Now in this problem, in order to solve for F, we have to remember Newton's second law, which says force is equal to math times acceleration. So this problem is actually going to involve kinematics. If you remember our old kinematics equation, the change in y or change in x is equal to initial velocity in that direction times time plus half of the acceleration in that direction times time squared. So we're going to rewrite our equation for the electric field using Newton's second law. So we have E equals MA over Q naught. Now we have to solve for A using our kinematics equation. So since there is only acceleration in one coordinate axis in the Y, we're going to use delta Y equals V naught YT plus one half AY T squared, where we'll try to solve for AY. There is no initial velocity, so we can cancel out the first term on the right side of the equation. And when we rearrange the equation, we find that ay is 2 times a change in y over t squared, which in this case is 2 times 4.5 minus 0 over 3 times 10 to the negative 6 seconds squared. And then we find that ay is equal to 1.00 times 10 to the 12th meters per second squared in the, in the positive uh, vertical axis, which is the y direction. So it accelerates straight upwards at 1 times 10 to the 12th meters per second squared. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in and solve for our electric field. So we plug in m, the mass of the electron, which we know is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st kilograms. We multiply that by our acceleration, and then we divide it by the charge of an electron, which is 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. When we plug this into our calculator, we get the electric field is 5.69 newton per coulomb. In part B, we are asked, are we justified in ignoring the effects of gravity? Justify our answer quantitatively. So as you can see me writing out, the acceleration due to gravity, which we all know, is 9.81 meters per second squared, which is approximately 10. Just for simplification, we're going to say it's 10 for this case. And we just found that the acceleration in the y direction 
due to that uniform electric field was 1.00 times 10 to the 12th meters per second squared. Now, I'm going to go ahead and write this out in this instance to give you an idea of just how big this number is. This number is 1 with 12 zeros behind it, which is roughly equal to about 1 trillion meters per second squared. Thus, we can say that this is about 1 times 10 to the 11th times greater than the acceleration due to gravity. That's, that's a significant amount greater. So because the acceleration caused by the electric field is so much greater than that due to gravity, we can in fact say that gravity has a negligible effect in this case because the acceleration due to the electric field is so much greater and is the only real acceleration it's experiencing. All right, well, that about do it. We hope you enjoyed the video. Um, keep posted for more videos coming soon. Thanks.